Welcome back to Module 1, Video 3 for AI in Action, with use cases from small to large newsrooms. Hank Sims is the Editor-in-Chief Technologist of Lost Coast Outpost, an online publication that serves Humboldt County, California. Hank is a quintessential tinkerer. If something new comes out, he jumps right in. When OpenAI released DALI in July of 2022, Sims put it to work on his website right away. He said it costs about five cents and 30 seconds to produce an image. He said he hasn't put any artists out of work because he's never hired an artist. He's never had the time or money to hire an artist. He usually needs an image now, and he's found that Dali can deliver. He also put GPT-3 to work. This was before the chat GPT frenzy. He set up scrapers for public meeting agendas and then stitched GPT-3 to create a summary of the agenda. For fun, and I do like tech that expresses some form of whimsy, you can read the summary as a sea shanty, or a Scooby-Doo, or 48 other summary types. Importantly, he indicates the use of these technologies in the image cut line and below the meeting. Scott Broderick, founder of Virginia-based Local News Now, has created an AI-generated morning newsletter to subscribers. He used GPT-4, Zapier, Airtable, and RSS. He brought in a developer at the end to connect it to his email service. He's also thinking of experimenting with AI to look for typos. I've also heard from local news organizations that confess to using ChatGPT to generate summaries, create outlines, develop keywords, add hashtags, brainstorm for headlines, and the rapid construction of HTML. One of the publications in the United States that covers the journalism industry is Neiman Lab. This year, they started to use Midjourney for the hero image on, it, on website articles. In the cut line, it lists the prompt and the tool. The online publication Semaphore had interviews with Ukrainians about the war and hired an artist to create interstitial B-roll. The Australian artist, Keir Spilsbury, created the animation using stable diffusion. She said it took her about 40 hours of prompting. Я Сергей Сатниченко, житель Ирпеня. Здесь как раз конкретно здесь была серая зона. Это была нейтральная полоса. Вот там и право была украинская армия, вот там слева была русская. Посередине здесь Летали бомбы, мины. Бомбы, мины, бомбы, мины, бомбы, мины, бомбы. И так вот, вот. AP's Local News AI Initiative has open-sourced five AI projects for newsrooms to use. The code base is free, but it may take a technologist or two and some training to get these working in your newsroom. These three projects have GPT 3.5 components. For Michigan Radio, Search Minutes takes online videos of public meetings and transcribes them with keyword alerts. With WFMZ-TV in Pennsylvania, we created a sorting mechanism for the hundreds of emails received daily on the assignment desk. AI determines, after some training by people in the newsroom, if there's a credible news event and adds it to the coverage planner. With KSAT TV in San Antonio, Texas, we composed basic digital stories from video interviews and features selected by editors. The AI summarizes these videos and automatically adds them to their CMS. For these next two projects, we use the less risky uh, AI with templatized natural language generation because the topics were too important to leave to chance. El Vocero in Puerto Rico uh, has automated hurricane warnings, and they go from English to Spanish language. For Brainerd Dispatch in Minnesota, we automated police incident briefs. Police uh, incident briefs and weather reports are popular offerings to audiences, but they can really drag down a reporter's time. It's important to note that none of the examples mentioned here include publishing a reported story. These are automations in newsrooms that are meant to free up time for journalists so they can work on more substantive reporting. These examples I hope you'll find inspiring and maybe take some of the concern around hallucinations and robots taking reporting jobs. You'll also notice that these examples are not national or international newsrooms. These are small and local newsrooms experimenting and sharing their results. The technology is on sale right now and, if, and is more accessible than ever before. 
If you can bake a cake, you can use generative AI. I'm always on the lookout for the next Hank Sims. Please share your experiments in the forums.